Hello everyone and welcome back to another Transformers review. As you can see I've jumped from the last review being in G1 right up to modern times with Dark of the Moon and this particular figure is Specialist Ratchet. Uh, I picked this up a couple of weeks ago actually uh, when I was away with my fiance we went into a TK Maxx and they had this guy up for $7.99 which is about half price so I thought I'd pick him up. I haven't actually got any other ratchets of this sort of size scale so I thought this is quite a nice little one. Um, it is a mech tech one and I'll show you this little mech tech gun. I'm not exactly sure what that's supposed to be in this mode. Just a small gun in itself that you flick it out with this bit at the back and it becomes a double barrel gun. Now the only downside of that is as with some of these mech tech weapons there's no way to actually lock that so not brilliant for display um, it's quite a stubby fat sort of gun in normal mode and it looks actually better as the double barrel one but like I say without being able to lock it there a bit pointless so I'd rather in some ways I just gave these guys just a normal weapon but hey hey so that's his gun out of the way now I'll just have you a quick look at the packaging which is standard Dark of the Moon type packaging um, obviously it's different colour from the original one which I think was the green version of this and you just get his little sort of picture artwork on the back and I'll just shove that to the back out of the way now um, as you can see on the back picture of that you can mount the gun in the hole on top of the spare wheel on his back in vehicle mode to become, I don't know, he's not really a fire engine as such, although he's the right colour this time. Um, I suppose you could say it's some kind of water cannon, but I don't know really. A bit weird. Doesn't really work, but again, not a bad little vehicle mode. He's his usual Humvee, or Hummer as they call him, in the civilian sort of market. Uh, still got his ball bars and his roof rack. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be like one of those sort of spine boards for back injuries on people, but I'm not quite sure why it's in gold. Um, but yeah, quite nice little details. The little silver, what I've got logo on the silver side panel there is quite nice. It does sort of just sort of show up in the right light. The rescue markings again are quite nice. The paint apps on the side. But generally, it's quite a tidy little vehicle mode. Um, downside, I would have liked to see a little bit of silver in the middle of the wheels, just to bring them out. Well, even a bit of chrome would never hurt. And again, they could have done the ball bars and the roof bars in a different colour, just made them I don't know, stand out. And a bit of silver on the lights wouldn't hurt either. They've done the ones on the grill and on the ball bars, but neglected to do those top ones. Um, I also think it would have been nice, it's always, always something I can do myself, is to uh, put a bit of paint apps on indicators and rear lights and that, just to bring out a little bit more detail on it. But generally speaking, it's a pretty good little car mode. Anyway, getting to the transformation. Now, at first, it doesn't sort of scream at you how you start the transformation but the best way I find is to pull out these side sections and you pull them out just behind the wheel there and they sort of hinge out in the middle to start you can see that starting to go and that releases the rear section and the front section at the same time a little bit now fronts are just sort of pegged in behind where the ball bars are and you've got to bend it in when you're changing it back you've got to bend that in and behind the ball bar to get those side sections to go in and lay flat so it's important to do it either that you're pulling out from the centre or, or push those in first and then push on the centre to spring it back in but anyway you get it to this stage where it's swung out now this might not be quite in the order they show on the instructions but I find it simpler to do it now you've got the centre section of the bonnet there and you can see there's a slight colour difference on it this needs to spin around taking 
both side sections with it, like so, and the back creates the arms and brings the head up from underneath. Bend that down and lock it into place. So you now see his sort of abdomen area and obviously the grills formed his chest, and that would give you enough room to turn his head round and rather than get a head reveal at the end you get it near the beginning but again that's quite nice uh, nicely detailed as well uh, some good paint apps on that the fact that with the amount of detail and just picking out the right parts they've done that quite well um, doesn't have light piping although he looks like he has with a sort of semi clear rear section on the head it doesn't really shine any light through but again not too bad anyway now getting back to his arms all you really need to do now is take this silver section and hinge it down and round and that's formed his lower arm and then take the front section of the wheel and just bend it round and back to the shoulder like so and that is his arms done so it's quite a nice simple little transformation from the arms let's quickly do the other side and that's both of his arms done and then for his rear section of the vehicle and obviously his legs you need to release this centre section now you want to get hold of the bottom in the middle and just sort of push up on it and then take these side sections down and back out of the way like so then this allows this whole rear section to concertina up and the bottom part in the middle there does hinge down and sort of clamps it all together in place like so and that, although it's a bit kibbly it sort of at least it sort of holds itself all together there on his back now doing this rear section panel you need to get hold of the front part there and you can see a hinge in the middle flip it round like so and then that just allows the whole rear section from the roof over to fold round and then which is obviously his foot at the end just needs to be spun round and that forms his leg and again it's quite a neat and simple transformation I'll just show you it on the other side so you take the top of the roof I'll open the side panel out first to release it swing that whole section round like so and then just spin the foot round and there you go you end up with specialist ratchet you just need to fiddle around with the position of the feet and where to finish his hips too and that's the figure done um, not a bad figure at all reasonable articulation as you get on modern transformers good elbow uh, head can turn shoulder articulation with ball joints you get knee hip and foot articulation so quite poseable figure you can of course hold his gun with the same peg and of course you can do the mech tech oh it doesn't pop out of his hand first i got to find it on the floor pop the weapon in no it doesn't like staying in okay it's going to be one of those sort of figures i'll have to put him down and do it on the table it really doesn't want to stay in there while you do it <laughs> there you go so that's the mech tech weapon working in his hand um, as I say it's not really their greatest feature anyway so not the end of the world that it doesn't work that great um, but as I say the figure itself is quite nicely detailed with some reasonable sort of bits of uh, robot detailing inside on the legs and oh one last little tiny bit and i did forget actually you just got to pop this little black piece up as well just under the grill and that locks the chest all in nice and tidy and stops it moving um but yeah quite a nice little tidy figure it's nice detailing on the arms as well almost like the ball bar effect forming his forearm on the inside um but like i say just a couple of little extra paint apps would have just been nice silver in the wheels again um, yeah a little bit more color maybe on his legs on the inside and on say some of the paneling because 
if you do notice on some of the panelling where they switch it around you've got almost like a dummy moulded in shock absorber a little bit of paint on that would have been quite nice just to bring out some of the detailing but again that's something if you're into your customising or you just want to have a fiddle around with some of these figures it's something you can always add on yourself I suppose but uh, yeah not a bad little deluxe figure um, I'd recommend picking it up if you see one going cheap I wouldn't pay the sort of £15 that it would be originally um, I don't think to be honest most of the deluxes warrant that sort of money um, I would say a bit more around the £10 mark but like I say if you can pick one up as I have on sale yeah give it a go anyway hope you've enjoyed this little review of a modern Dark of the Moon figure um, please feel free to comment and subscribe and I shall see you again for another Transformers review thanks for watching